Oh shit, oh wow. So what would you do if I told you that CS2's anti-cheat doesn't actually have a problem? So hear me out, I know it sounds like a fairy tale, but I will explain to you why I say what I say. But be sure to stick around till the end of the video so you can actually participate in your very own USPS print stream giveaway. Right, see you there. All right, so like the beginning of the video you just saw, you probably have also encountered some type of cheater in CS2. And if you ask anybody in the pro scene, content creator, even Shroud with the interview that he did. 100% Counter-Strike. Yeah, because CS is like 20 years old. 100%, huh? yeah, it's terrible. You have to pay for like third party subscriptions and like different anti-cheats. And even then they sneak through. That doesn't necessarily mean that the back system doesn't work. What it merely means is that the cheater developers are doing a better job than VAC can do to stop that. And that isn't the whole whole story. So what's happening is instead of just banning a lot of people the moment they are hacking, what they do is, and this is a technique that a lot of different game developers actually use, they're letting the people cheat for a while. Then every between two to four months, there's a massive ban wave and all of a sudden 50,000 people get banned or 10,000 people get banned. And the reason for that is if they ban every single person the moment they know that person is cheating, then the, the cheat developers are just going to be like, okay, wait, we did this wrong, so we're just going to fix that and they can't detect it anymore. But if Valve and other game companies as well ban like 10,000 people or 50,000 people at the same time, then they have no clue what to look for. They don't know what actually caused the band wave. And that is what will work at the end of the day. It still is a more effective way at the moment to counter cheats. Up until we can get like a super intelligent AI to just detect any cheat, there's always gonna be cheats. At the end of the day, there's always gonna be cheats, unfortunately. But for now, we just have to hope that Valve does catch a lot of these cheaters because it is kind of getting out of hand. If you have ever witnessed yourself getting an insane cheater in a game, let me know in the comment section down below which cheats they actually used. And uh, remember to like this video. I mean, let's get to 30 likes on this video, yeah? All right, so for this giveaway that is sponsored by my good friend DNK, we are giving away a USPS print stream that is in battle scar this thing looks insane it is worth about 500 rand which is about i want to say 30 dollars 35 dollars if you're from america or whatever country you are from you can just convert that we are also giving away all these other items that are still in the trade hold as well as a desert eagle trigger discipline among other skins there's going to be five winners in total of these skins so be sure to check that out and the way that you enter this giveaway is to check out dnk's youtube channel and subscribe there and give me a quick subscribe with that just like this video and comment down below your favorite cs2 play skin of all time and that is it it's as simple as that the winners are gonna be picked in two weeks time it's gonna be on a live stream so be sure to check it out 8 p.m cat with that being said i will see you in the next video where i talk about sexism and how it is affecting the gameplay of cs2 all right see you there guys Remember to subscribe. Cheers.